Thank you, Jennifer. Well, summertime is concert time all around the area. We've already had many great Christian artists who've shared their talents in this region. In just a few weeks, St. Mary's will feature its annual Outdoor Christian Music Fest. Matt Finkel tells us about this year's Wayne Stock Living for the Rock. That's right, Andy. Festivals have developed into a great way to bring people together through worship and music. And August 16th provides another opportunity. Skip Bachman Stadium in St. Mary's will host the fourth annual Wayne Stock Festival, featuring eight artists, including three local bands. In this past week, event organizer Keith Jacobs invited music lovers to St. Mary's for a Wayne Stock warm up, which featured one of those local acts. Sayla and Shekinah. Sayla and Shekinah consists of two sisters, their brother on drums, and two close friends. And the group is getting ready for its second appearance at Wayne Stock. This year you can expect a whole different band than you saw last year. Our shows have become a lot more fun and exciting and we're just excited to have fun with the crowd this year. We keep growing. Last year we grew, we grew from 400 spectators to about 3,000 so we're hoping to keep growing that way uh, with, the, with the five national acts. Last year we had three so it's, it's just slowly taking little steps and, and hopefully watching what, what God has in store for us. The growing event is a perfect opportunity for bands to share their uplifting message through music. I just want people to see how much they're worth and how God sees them and their worth and that they don't have to find their worth in other things um, and that if they run to Him and they love Him, He'll show them how much they're worth. Now we're doing this and so that's like everything to us to be able to play music and right. do what we love and also be able to glorify God in doing that and be able to bring people together. Sayla and Shekinah's testimony aligns closely with that of the event itself. Uh, the mission of Wayne Stock is to bring, bring Christ to the people through uh, music and testimony. Uh, we will have a gospel message Saturday night. Uh, and then also then through his uh, giving back to the community. We are benefiting an organization out of Perrysburg, Ohio called the Daughter Project. Um, they help with uh, getting women and, and girls uh, out of uh, sex trafficking in Northwest Ohio, which is 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 running rampant apparently in this area. So, uh, great organization, uh, you know, great time. Uh, just looking forward to to an unbelievable show. Wayne Stock is free to the public thanks to support from area churches and organizations. This year's concert figures to be the biggest one yet. The community has been awesome. Um, not only just the, the city of St. Mary's, uh, the school of St. Mary's, the St. Mary's City Schools letting us use the grounds, uh, the businesses that have donated, um, you know, the area radio stations and TV stations like Channel 44 and their support. Uh, it, it, it makes you feel good that, that you know have um, not only support from your church, but, but also other churches and other people in the, in the community that, that, to bring on an event like this to, to St. Mary's that everybody can enjoy. I think we feel really honored to play with these other bands and it's cool to play a show close to home because then you see people that you know and um, it's really cool to form relationships with those artists. Should be a fun and meaningful day on August 16th. The music gets started at 3 p.m. with En Getty followed by Lori Triplett and Salem Chikina. Love and the Outcome will go on at 5.30 with Josh Wilson and Rhett Walker Band to follow. And then Building 429 closes out the show at 9.30. It will be a full day of music and worship all for free at Skip Bachman Stadium in St. Mary's. Back to you guys.